Welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and in this episode, we are going back to the 90s, the carefree days when I was a little itty bitty Matthew, and I was watching Disney Afternoon every day after school. And one of the most memorable times of that Disney Afternoon programming was when they released Gargoyles. That was a mind blowing, game changing animated series for me as a little kid, and remains one of my favorites. And that's why I am so excited today to be talking to you about Diamond Select's latest minibus series, and that's going back to Disney's Gargoyles. So today, we are kicking off this line with a look at the very first figure in this entry, and that is Goliath. Over the years, Diamond has done a lot of resin minibus of various licenses and franchises. Most recently, they've been doing a ton of Marvel animated series pieces, which we have been looking at on this channel. And that includes a lot of beautiful X-Men animated series pieces, as well as some Spider-Man animated series ones. But they've done everything already from classic Marvel to Batman and DC and a whole bunch of other things here. So it's really nice to be able to add now Gargoyles to it. And I kind of wonder, where is Diamond going to go with this Disney franchise? Because they got this, what else can they do? And what else can we get in this style? But that's a question for a different video. First things first, so let's go ahead and talk about this packaging here. And unlike a lot of the diamond statues that you normally get, like the plastic ones, the resin pieces do not come with any plastic windows to let you see inside them. No, these are completely sealed up in their cardboard packaging here to make sure that your statue is protected through shipping. And you'll see more about what I mean with that because once we start to unbox them, you'll see the giant styrofoam container that holds them inside there. The front of the piece has a great image of what this statue looks like. And likewise, you get that similar image on the side, just kind of rotated a little bit. And uh, same with the other side too. Uh, now on the top of the box, nothing real special there, just the classic Gargoyles logo, which I say it's nothing special, but it's a pretty cool logo. And on the back of the packaging here, we have, again, another look at our Goliath, as well as a little itty bitty bit of bio information about him, in case you don't already know who he is and what he's all about. And it also lets you know how many pieces are in the series. And just like the X-Men animated series and the Spider-Man animated series mini bust, Goliath here is limited to only 3,000 pieces. But most importantly, on the back of the box here, it lets us know who created this piece. And this was designed by Barry Bradfield and sculpted by Varner Studios. Barry is a modern day powerhouse in toy and statue sculpting, and Varner Studios have been around forever. These are the same guys who did all the Playmates Ninja Turtles toys, the Star Trek toys, so much really amazing toy history there with those people. So they're really bringing out some of the best folks they've got to make this resin minibus series. So my hopes are very high for this piece. So let's go ahead now, get our Goliath out of the box and take a better look at him from all angles. Here's the official unveiling uh, of the styrofoam. That's what I was talking about before. And this is how our Goliath is packaged. So you can see there's the styrofoam container perfectly packed in there. The wings are separate pieces. Thank goodness. I was actually very worried about that. So the wings are separate pieces as is this looks like, oh, that's Goliath's hair. That's unexpected, but very smart. So that's how it's all packed together. That's how they're keeping it nice and secure. And I'll show this to you guys right now. Also, this is the certificate of authenticity that comes with every single one of these. So that's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead now and construct this Goliath and I'll come right back to you guys. All right. And there is our Goliath. He is ready to go. Easy to assemble. Wow. So this is the first piece of what will hopefully be many gargoyle statues, gargoyles mini busts rather out of resin. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this guy first, uh, give a quick rotation and give you my initial thoughts. And uh, whew, man, wow. You know, this was Unexpected, but wow, very happy that they're doing this. Gargoyles needs better merchandise and has always needed it. Like I never really collected the figures as a kid, even though I was of the right age to be buying them. I had like one or two and uh, I just didn't like them. I didn't like how they looked, didn't like how they felt, didn't like how they played. So years went by, decades really. And now we're finally getting a renaissance of Gargoyle stuff between NECA and now Diamond Select. Uh, so, and I believe there's also a Japanese company that's done a few things, but uh, that's much, much, much more expensive. But as far as like something statuesque, uh, this is really great because it's frankly affordable compared to other things because it is a little bit smaller and it's a mini bust. Uh, but it also still looks like it's capturing the essence of the cartoon. This, uh, yeah, okay, that's just perfect now that I've seen the whole thing move. So let's go ahead now and just start talking about some of the finer details of our Goliath. Let's start with the likeness. So what do we think about this face here? I mean, it looks pretty darn accurate to me. It looks pretty cartoon accurate. This is how I remember Goliath looking. I, I think this is pretty good. This is pretty solid likeness of him. I like the face, I like the teeth, I like the eyes. You know, keep in mind they are trying to make this like a cartoon, so it's not going to be super realistic in any way. It's just going to be what it is. But I'm liking how it looks. I mean, it really looks like they just pulled him straight out of the cartoon, especially from the profile. Uh, you know, I, I think it might look maybe a little bit weird to you guys on camera because I'm looking at it through my monitor right now. 
And uh, it might look a little weird because I am shooting at a slightly higher up angle, and that's not really an angle you ever see of Goliath, you know, because he is such a big character. Typically, he was shot on eye level or below. So uh, this might be a little bit weird seeing him in this kind of pose, but maybe if you move him around, you'll, you'll see him a little bit better the way you remember him. But uh, I would say that it looks pretty much just like Goliath. This looks good. They got the sharp nose, the cheeks, the pointy bits in his eyebrows, the chin especially. That's, uh, that is definitely Goliath's chin there. So I'm pretty happy with that likeness. Now, one thing I do want to point out as we start talking about the rest of the piece here, which is be, going to be the body, uh, the color might look a little bit off to you. Uh, that's just because I do have some colored lights on Goliath right now, so that's probably affecting him a little bit. Um, but I can say that it is that distinct Goliath color. It is the correct color. It just might look a little bit funny on camera right now. So yeah, let us talk a little bit more about the statue, about the body and the pose. So this is a mini bust, which means we're only really getting him from the waist up. But that's still plenty of information, plenty of storytelling here. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and just jump right into some more details about him. So I think the one thing I want to point out that is maybe a bit of an attraction, but I'm also going to maybe let it fly a little bit. I'm going to let it slide a little bit, uh, would be the wings. So the wings look great. And as you can see right now, I mean, the wings look gorgeous, but you will notice that they are kind of small. Now you may or may not notice. It depends. I mean, because they kind of blend in good and because it's a mini bust, you can get away with some things. But in reality, yes, the wings are much smaller than they would be in the cartoon. The problem is if they tried to actually make them completely accurate, they would be, oof, yeah, because, uh, yeah, I, I think they'd be a lot bigger. They would be much, much bigger. This is pretty close. It's not too far off, uh, so that's why I don't think it's super noticeable unless you're going to really nitpick it, and I don't feel like nitpicking it. I'm, I'm pretty content with it. Uh, you could just argue that also maybe his wings aren't fully extended. There's a lot of things you could talk about with it. Um, just something worth pointing out. If you're someone who's like a real stickler for details, it's going to probably annoy you. Um, but I don't, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it looks fine. And otherwise it, the price would go up crazy amounts. I think the statue would also be a lot more unbalanced. It'd be bigger to deal with it. it it's just a nightmare. Uh, so yeah, that's just my, my thing about the wings. They are definitely smaller. So I'm going to address that, but I don't hate it. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it. As far as the body goes, this looks good too. And again, this is meant to be like the cartoon. So we're not going to have realistic pecs or, or shoulders or biceps. In fact, there's not even like a thing here. There's like a little indentation, very small, slight indentation, but very bare. Uh, it's mostly just kind of ending at the collarbone there. Uh, so for the most part, this looks like his body, which is really nice. Uh, it almost kind of reminds a little bit of like the Batman the animated series bust they did. And it makes sense because these kind of came out around the same time as Batman. And this really was Disney's answer to Batman the animated series in so many ways. But the body's looking really good. You have the nice pointy elbow on Goliath here. The hands look great, just like in the cartoons. There's like nice sharp pointy fingers there. Digging the belt as well and the belt buckle. So really as far as like look and accuracy goes, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I should actually, I didn't realize I didn't even talk about the hair. The hair is great too. I'm, I'm liking the hair a lot. Very smooth, absolutely zero texture there. And that's worth pointing out right now. As far as texture goes, this would be a zero. There is none. There is no texture on this piece whatsoever. What you see is what you get. That's because it was a 2D flat cartoon with no real depth to it. So yeah, no, no cell shade or anything like that, like you're getting with like the X-Men pieces, for example. It's pretty much fairly flat, although there is some toning uh, around the muscles and some parts like that to add a little bit of shadow to it, um, but not much. They've kept it pretty, pretty flat and pretty close to the cartoon. Uh, let's talk about the base though, because the base is really nice too. And this is our first look at these bases, and we're going to probably be seeing a lot more of them. Because typically when they do these resin busts, they keep the base as like a uniform element across all of them. So this is what it looks like here. Just a uh, very basic brick kind of uh, art deco gothic look, like on the top of a New York building, like an old New York building. So yeah, very basic, but really nice. I like the shape that they're going with. I like that it's very square because these characters are pretty round. Uh, that was the style of animation and how these characters looked. So having this be a little more angular is actually really nice. So. Uh, I'm curious to see how the line continues and how they're going to look. I wonder if they're going to change any of these things, or I wonder if anything will change as they go on. But we're going to find out. But as of now, this is our first piece. That's how the base looks. I'm happy with it. And I think it's a good contrast to all the other round elements that we're seeing here. So again, here he is, just a big wide shot of our Goliath. Looks really nice, you guys. Uh, you know, comparing it to, like, let's say, the X-Men animated series pieces, which we've looked at a lot lately, or even the Spider-Man ones, uh, they are kind of apples and oranges, but as far as quality goes, no no quality change, no dip in quality. Uh, these look good. It's a very big piece also because you got all the wings and that kind of stuff in it. Really no complaints here. Good sculpting, very good painting, uh, good attention to detail, what little detail that there is. But again, that is accurate to the show we're talking about. So uh, for the most part, yeah, this is looking really nice. Uh, and this is a very good, strong start to the series. 
Now, where do they go from here? Well, really, the sky's the limit. There's a lot of other characters they can do, obviously, because we're just getting started. So, you know, I don't know if they're going to follow suit with NECA and release the characters in a similar way that they were doing stuff, because that felt like a fairly logical way to do it. So, you know, I don't know who's going to be next exactly. I don't know if they've announced it. I just can't remember off the top of my head. But I don't think we're going to be too far away from a Demona, of course. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to get any other gargoyles as we move along. Maybe we'll get some armored Xanatos. We'll see. We'll see how far this line wants to go. Because really the fact is that it's a bust. Uh, it does make it in some ways a little bit easier than doing action figures to probably get a lot more characters done. It might take a similar time, but the fact that not sculpting entire articulated pieces, that the tooling is different, uh, I, I'm confident that we're going to get a pretty good amount of characters out of this line, assuming it sells well once we get past the initial team of Gargoyles and hopefully uh, Aliza and everybody else. So yeah, really strong start though. Very happy with this and uh, I think you're going to like it too. So keep in mind this guy is limited to 3,000 pieces and if you want to pick him up, I'm going to have links in my description below for places you can find him, hopefully including Amazon.com. And speaking of, if you use my Amazon affiliate link, you will be supporting this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you, and that's no matter what you buy, whether it's toys or something else entirely. So I hope you'll consider using that link for something at the very least. So that is our look at Diamond Select's Goliath Resin Mini Bust, the first of hopefully many Gargoyles Mini Bust statues. Yeah, real wonderful piece. If you're a Gargoyle fan like me, must have piece. Uh, and for all you Disney fanatics also, you know, this might be your first entry point into Diamond Select. I can tell you guys, you are not going to be disappointed with how things are going to grow. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. We'll see you guys later. And as always, thanks for watching.